All right, hello everyone. This is Pat and Perry from the safety department. We're going to go ahead and take this thing for a cruise, show you uh, some of the collision mitigation systems, some of the uh, blind spot uh, system, and uh, let's take it for a roll. All right, as always, when you first get in the track, you're familiar yourself with the dash, the controls. Pretty standard. You need a cruise control. You have your on guard system there. Again, we're not going to spend a lot of time while we're driving looking at the on guard system whatsoever. It's more going to be controlled, and you're going to hear the audible alerts. There's really not a whole lot of reason to look down, and stare at this thing whatsoever. The audible alerts will be the ones that are going to be guiding your decision making. The lane alert. That switches it off. That's a lane departure. Say you're in construction, uh, tar marks left on the road. You want to switch it off temporarily. You either turn it back on or it'll turn itself back on after 15 minutes. That's the radar. That's the eye that goes out and detects the lanes. Over in the corner, that's for your blind spot. Again, you'll hear that. You can also sort of see it when you look over and you're looking in your mirror to make a successful turn. Again, that's a blind spot for the tractor. Blind spot for the tractor. And as a reminder, the information for all the uh, technology in the tractor is in a binder, which will be in the back of the tractor, right next to the accident pack license registration. Included in the information binder is on guard collision mitigation system which shows also the collision warning system and the adaptive cruise control collision mitigation system. It's information about the lane departure warning system. Again, that's the radar for it. The binder also has information about the blind spot detection again the radar for that is in the passenger side so it's on the right hand side of the truck there's the visual indicator for it and also it has information about the ABS system just as a refresher for what ABS does and how it functions and how it helps to control the brakes from locking up Right, so we're traveling along about 63 miles an hour. Let me go ahead and show you some of the way the systems work. We have a car cuts right in front of us. Now, the system's not going off. Now, it went off. The reason it didn't go off originally is because the car was going faster than we were, so it was detecting it was accelerating away. Now that it's detecting it's not accelerating away, the system went off and gave us a warning we're falling too close. As the car continues to increase away, the system will not activate again unless we start decreasing the following distance. In other words, we start speeding up behind it. See, we're speeding up and the system activates. It says, slow down, 3.6 seconds of following distance. Now the increased following distance, it'll stay off. We're going to continue on. We're going to show you the lane departure. Lane departure. You hear the rumble? We continue until we get back into the lane. Same thing happens. Again, you hear the system going off. We're too close to the car in front of us. We go to the left. We don't have our turn signal on. You can hear that rumble in the left. You can hear the rumble in the left speaker. to do is we're going to speed up a little bit and set our cruise control. Now our cruise control is set. It'll automatically throttle back until it maintains the 3.6 seconds of following distance. And then it'll stay 3.6 seconds behind this car regardless of the speed. 
Right now we're back at about 54 miles an hour. So you have that slow car on the right. If you have the cruise control on, it won't let you come up and get within 3.6 seconds of following distance. Now as soon as we clear the lane, it doesn't recognize that the car is in front of us anymore, or in this case, the car gets over to the right. You can see it will automatically increase the speed without us doing a thing. It's a great feature, especially driving on the road at night or in long highway runs. Great feature. As you see, it starts to speed itself up as it recognizes there's nothing in our lane in front of us. It allows us to speed up. And it'll continue until it reaches the max govern speed. the cruise control set at 64, 63. Driving in our lane. Car cuts in front of us. Automatically throttles the engine back to match their speed at 3.6 seconds of following distance. No need to touch the brakes. Touch the throttle. If that car speeds up in front of us a little bit, it'll maintain the 3.6 seconds of following distance without having to do anything. Now we're back in O'Neill Highway. Let me show you as we're following too close, but as you get underneath 15 miles per hour, it deactivates. So as we slow down, it'll deactivate. Now as the light turns green, we we'll go ahead and show you a little Smith system technique as well. Pausing two seconds before we accelerate. Give us space out front. It's good we did that FedEx ground truck almost took out a car. One one thousand, two one thousand. Now we'll accelerate. See all the space we have out in front of us already? Nobody behind us is beeping because we accelerated, but we just waited a little. You see, you're driving in, you're driving a little bit of traffic. You're not going to get a lot of false alarms or beeps. Just remember, it doesn't activate unless you're going over 15 miles per hour. But if you maintain that following distance, you won't hear a thing. So again, we'll show the two-second pause. You do that to create space in front of you or around your vehicle. And if you're first in line, so you don't get taken out by a car, we'll try to come to light. Give that space and then we'll take off. that traffic light we want to made that traffic light no matter what saving on brakes saving on gas taking our time now we're going to show you one last safety feature here and this is when you go to a park we're coming to a stop oh we go to get out of the truck we forget to put on the parking brake we open the door, you hear the horn go all crazy. That's called roll away prevention. You go to get out of the cab without setting the brakes, the horn's going to go off about 10 times and remind you to set the brake so your unit does not roll away. Alright, I hope you found these videos informative. The new truck's coming out. Please take advantage of all the systems that are involved in these trucks. They're beautiful trucks. You'll enjoy driving them. They're comfortable. They're as safe as you can be. They really are designed to help you get home in one piece, help everybody around you get home in one piece. They are not going to replace a safe professional driver. They are simply here to assist. So please, enjoy the new trucks. We certainly enjoyed doing these videos for you. Have a safe day.